Hey there friends and enemies, Joper here again and today I wanted to talk about my unkillable Technomancer and why this is my favorite class in World Slayer after being a Pyromancer main for so long. This build that I'm working on has been so much fun. I'm using the Techmonger gear set on my Technomancer, really focusing on my turrets and it feels like I am the tankiest character I've played in Outriders yet. I just heal through pretty much everything, whether it's bosses, adds no matter what i just heal through everything it's absolutely insane i can solo bosses if i want to with relative ease because i don't really have to worry about dying now i started my technomancer fresh with world slayer so i didn't have a lot of the mods that i was looking for originally so this has been kind of a new player's experience to world slayer starting at level 30 with none of the mods and it's really allowed me to focus on making the exact build i want to while hunting for the exact weapons and armors that i'm looking for and this has led to the creation of a build that I'm very, very excited about and is going to carry me all the way up through higher Apocalypse tiers. Now, in the gameplay, you're going to see that I'm Apocalypse tier 20. However, after doing some research and checking out the numbers, this is going to scale up really reliably because I don't even have the perfect mods yet. I'm still at a work in progress stage, but I wanted to show this off, especially for players who might be picking up world slayer for the first time you might be struggling with the trials of target guitar a little bit and this is the perfect way to get past that and not have to worry about it anymore it's just so much fun too because your turrets do crazy amounts of damage they heal you ridiculous amounts and you're able to take down the toughest enemies in the game with relative ease one of the nice things about the technomancer too especially with the Oak Real boss fight is it makes it a lot easier for most people from what I've seen if you're having problems with it. You can tank everything, but you can stay on the zones and still kill a lot of ads without being like a devastator or a trickster where you have to go to the ads or let them come to you. So you're able to just toss your turrets out and let them handle most of the problems. Now like I said, the build is a little bit of a work in progress. However, I'm pretty comfortable with where it's at in order to show you guys how I'm going to really be kicking this off and where I think this build actually shines and might be a little bit underrated from other builds that I've seen on the Technomancer. Because when I was looking through this, I tried not to focus on other people's builds and how they have put together their Technomancer because I really wanted this to be something that I made my own. And so for that reason, you're gonna see that my focus is a little bit different than other builds that you might, might have seen on the internet or uh, from your favorite streamers. So let's jump into the builds now and I cannot wait. All right, let's kick off with our skills. Blighted Turret and Crowd Turret are the two most important, absolutely necessary for this build. Also running Blighted Rounds, I have a nice mod that helps out with my anomaly power for the Blighted Rounds, so that's why I keep that. Plus, I'm using Major's Rage, so I'm going to be shooting my gun a little bit. You can swamp this out for Cold Snap if you want to rearrange things, but this is just works best for me personally, so that's why I went in this direction. As for the skill tree, I went up to Impact Amplifier, Suction Module, Drill coating, uh, having Nessus, and then exposing toxin and mark for execution the vulnerable status. That's really why I went up in this direction for a couple slots. Then we go down, and I have a lot of anomaly fuels here. I'm going all anomaly with this build. We've got disturbance coating, welcome shot. I also went with adrenalizing antenna, and then wipeout. Adrenalizing antenna is really nice for increasing your anomaly power when. You activate either Blighted Rounds or your Blighted Turret. That's another reason why I'm running the Blighted Rounds, because my Anomaly Power is going to be stacked up pretty high all the time. Toxicologist, Disturbance Coding again, and then we got Team Player over here. Now, this one right here, Wipeout, can be swapped out if you have another skill that you want to go with as far as your Resistance or something like that. But for me personally, I, I just like having being able to melt enemies when they're down low and finish them off and move on to the next one get those kills so my patch tree is a little bit different than you might see on other ones i don't have a full tree really set up 
you got initial striker and that's activating skills increases your anomaly power which is going to be higher obviously than your firepower we've got lethal devices this works out really well with the cryo turret so the anomaly power is increased uh, as if toxic if toxic was refreshed as well that's really nice and then painkiller damaging enemy grants you two percent health regeneration so that's part of why i feel like i'm unkillable right there stacking up to two times which is really nice then we've got the undying again every five percent of your missing health increases your weapon and skill leech by five percent and then override your anomaly power is increased by a hundred percent of your skill leech so again max anomaly bonus as i can like i want that as high as possible because it's going to do the most damage with this build and with your turrets as far as the weapons go, Emerald Chaos, I like this one, although I don't really use it a lot, to be honest, if I don't need to. If I'm just having fun, I can use this one. But overall, it's not really necessary. I could swap this out for any weapon that I like. It does not matter. Um, the main weapon that I'm using is Final Penance. Mage's Rage, Critical Shots, grant 10% Anomaly Bonus for 15 seconds, stacks up to 4 times. Yeah, that's really, really good. It's probably one of the best weapon mods in the game. So you're going to see me just go for crits as much as possible. Stack that anomaly power. And then also anomaly enhancement. Receive a passive firepower boost equal to 40% of your anomaly damage. That way my firepower is a little bit better. I can do a little bit more damage with that. And then the, the time rift is fine. It just helps uh, stun lock enemies. Get them floating in the air for a little bit. You don't really need that. But it's a pretty good perk. And so... The main takeaway from this is obviously Mage's Rage. It's the number one perk that you want for this build on your weapons. Now, the pistol doesn't really matter. I just have this on because it's my highest, and it's one that I have fun using it from time to time. Now, I am using the Techmonger set, as I said before, which using turret skills increases turret damage by 10%. Bonus lasts 10 seconds and stacks up to five times. So I'm chucking out my turrets as often as possible. I've got Cryo Turret, deploy an enhanced turret with two barrels instead of one, uh, improved coolant, which doubles the fire rate of the deployed turret. And then this is one place where I could have a better perk in my final slot. Critical shot from sniper weapons deal 15% more damage. I don't use snipers, so that's one place where I'm looking to improve. We've also got the tech monitor's vest with the hazardous modifications. The turret now fires toxic infused projectiles, deals more damage and an increased attack range and then increased damage on the Cryo Turret. And then the blighted rounds. When the skill is active, your anomaly damage is increased by 15%. That's actually huge, and that's why I really love this armor piece right here for this build. I could swap out the increased damage for the crowd turret, but uh, I've left that for now. Next up, we've got circle power booster resistance by 10% every time you use a skill. Stacks up to three times. Again, you're going to feel invincible with this. Rejuvenation, re receive... Uh, firepower and anomaly and armor bonus for 15 fire for sorry for five seconds whenever your health is replenished it's replenished all the time so you're constantly getting that buff and then the last one there deal 10 percent more damage to elites affected by toxic or black fire you're applying toxic all the time so this is going to proc pretty much constantly another set that i really like here then we've got Stand tall, uh, anomaly, and firepower bonus when out of cover. Because you're healing so much, you never need to be in cover. So that's pretty much all the time with that. The uptime is crazy. Killing shots on enemies inflicted with bleed replenish. So that's another place I could swap that out. But I just have not yet because uh, it was unnecessary as I was leveling. But that's a place where I'll probably swap out a mod there in the second slot. And then increases assault rifle damage by 12%. I could get a better third slot there as well so this build has lots of room for improvement that's what i was saying earlier where this one isn't even capped out if you could add some different mods which i'll talk about in a second it could be even better now we've got the blighted turret uh focus discharge uh turret discharge anomaly beams that deal damage every 0.3 seconds uh crowd turret two turrets can be placed before triggering the cooldown twins is absolutely one of the most important parts of this build having two crowd turrets makes it absolutely insane 100% a key to this for sure. And then the blighted turret increases the turret's duration by 50%, which doesn't really matter because you're chucking them pretty often. Now, there's some other mods that I've been looking at that you can actually swap out and I think would do very, very well. Some of those that I would look at, especially with my gloves here, 
I can mod out See, I already have the stand tall there, so I can't swap it out. But if I get a better piece of armor, uh, you got anything from, like, increases the turret's damage. You got... if You can replenish health to our allies if they're struggling a little bit. And you just need a little med burst for your teammates. So, the decrease of the skills cool down by 50%. There's a lot of options there that you could run if you're not comfortable with the vampiric mag but for me personally i'm not too pressed about it i like the build as is and i know in the future i'll get even better armor pieces in order to max this out completely anyway that is my unkillable technomancer that i am absolutely in love with i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really hope you enjoyed the build if you did hit that like button make sure to subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try this build or if you have any builds of your own for the Technomancer that you think I should try out. Anyway, my name is Jopa. I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you all later.